I was in New Mexico uh, when uh, to do research for a play called Angels Fall, and and there's a a, a little nuclear incident they call it uh, that causes everyone to get off the road and, and hole up in a church. Uh, there's a spill of uh, of uranium that uh, in the area that there's a lot of uranium mines in that area, and. Uh, so I was doing research on on both the the uranium in the area and the area itself and and the history of the area and reading just about everything and realized even though I had a, a Native American in that play, I, I still hadn't addressed the issue of the making of the atomic bomb, which was one of the books I read there and I couldn't believe it when. Uh, when uh, Maria Martinez died, uh, so many of the scientists from from uh, Los Alamos, from wherever they were at, by now, uh, wrote letters to her daughter saying how important the reservation had been to them and how impor important this whole spiritual part of their life to get away from from the science and and watch the the dances and talk to Maria and they all had a piece you know a lot of them went very native with the the you know the the peasant the mexican peasant blouses and and everyone was buying uh, rugs from cordova or, or or rugs from the reservation and uh, and of course pottery from from san ildefonso and san clara and clara i think it is and uh, in this beautiful, beautiful book, The Making of the Atomic Bomb, there was not one word about the reservation, which is seven or eight miles away from there, uh, right on top of them. Not one word about the Indians, not a word about Maria, not a word about any of it. And to learn that it had been such an important part of, uh, of their life, I said, hey, come on, let's, you know. And so many of them, felt, several of them still live there. They, they couldn't leave. Uh, one, I forget which scientist, the marriage broke up because the wife had to stay and the, the guy was, it was, the area was driving him crazy. And uh, she's married to a Native American now. Uh, but the stories are endless of the, the interaction between the San Ildefonso Reservation and, and uh, Los Alamos. And so I had to get that, I had to get that on, on stage and also, reading The Making of the Atomic Bomb, I hadn't realized quite the, the inner conflict that so many of the scientists had making the bomb. Uh, there were several of them had refused to, uh, to join, you know, and still kept the secret that it was being made, but refused to be a part of it. Robbie uh, was uh, one of the very few uh, uh, that's, Isidore Robbie? I.I. Robbie, I think. Uh, he, uh, he was working on radar, and he said, I think that's going to be as important as what you're doing here. So he was one of the few that, that was a consultant that came and went because he was working on radar, and, and also the other guys didn't, didn't come and go. They, they were there for the duration. So many of the scientists that I was, that I was reading, uh, a lot of them wrote about this time and said it was the greatest time of their life. They've never had any experience like this. And several of them said they realized, you know, as they were going to bed at night, and when they weren't thinking about, oh my God, what are we done? Or what are we doing? They were saying, this is the most exciting time of my life. I'll never have anything like this again. So many of them realized that at the time. The average age on the, on the hill was 25. So many of the physicists that were working in Berkeley and Chicago and, and, uh, and around the country that were invited to come brought all of the uh, young postdocs that were working with them who had just barely got their doctorate, were 23 and 25. And, you know, being a physicist, they, a lot of them got their doctorate at 23. And, uh, and so they were, they, they, they were young, young people. And, Many of them have said, nothing like that has happened again.